Okay, so this tutorial is going to be about interpolation types, which are, well, in short, you, when you make an animation, you make part A and then part B, and it goes from part A to B. Now, interpolation uh, is how you get from part A to part B. To demonstrate this, I'm going to make a ball. Okay, let's call that in. Let's make it red, just so you can see it. And let's use the layer tool to move it over to here. Okay, now at frame 1, we're going to have it move to the other side of the screen. Not frame 1, frame 24, 1 second. Okay, so let's move down to there so we can see it. There we go. So you can see it moves across the screen like that. Now we're going to add some onion skins. So you just click in between the timeline and the numbers to add little purple things. You'll see they'll come up here. So add a few more. Oops, hit limit. Okay, there we go. So now you can see how it moves. Now you see over here, it's kind of more pushed together than in the middle. The spacing's different. So as these are all equal, that must mean that it goes slowly from there to there, but quickly from there to there. That's what's known as smooth, where the ends of the animation are smoothed. Now, we can change that by going down here and right clicking on the frame, and we can change it to linear. Now you notice that every one of the frames is perfectly spaced apart. It's equal, so it moves at an equal rate. Let's change it again to ease in and ease out. This is basically the same as smooth, but exaggerated. As you can see, that second frame there is almost exactly the same place. So that's useful if you want a kind of exaggerated smooth effect. Now the same can be said about ease in or ease out. It just only does one side though. If we go to step, which is basically it doesn't move until it gets to that frame. So it'll stay the same. It doesn't move at all. It just quickly goes a step. Alright, there are two more down here. Uh, one is noisy, which, <coughs> which basically just uh, you choose the amplitude and the scale, and then it'll move along that line with noise. Maybe that'll be useful to you, but probably not. And the last one is cycle, but we'll go into that in the next tutorial. Let's just uh, leave it a linear, and we'll look at how this can be useful. So, let's say we have a ball up here, and we want to fall. Now it could fall like that, just fall. It doesn't look very good. So we have to find the one that is best suited. Do you think about it, what will best suit? When the ball hits its highest point, it slows down and then starts to fall, speeding up as it falls. So let's try ease in. That seems to be the right type. If you don't like that, you can just do it yourself if you turn it linear and then you move the frames yourself. This will give more accurate results, but will take longer. So, by playing with interpolation types, <coughs> you should be able to create the right animation effect that you want. Now when you look at your timeline, you might notice that you don't have quite as many channels as I do. If this is the case, simply go to settings, and then choose the ones that you want, and that might be likely that you want all of them. You can also change the default interpolation here, so if you want by default your animations to be linear or step, 
or any of these.